Parashat Nitzavim may reveal a deep connection between weight loss and teshuva. Noom is a weight loss program which claims to be built on well-researched psychological principles. It requires no crash diets, no carb counting, no extreme exercise regimen. In fact, with Noom, all you have to do is scrupulously record everything that you eat on their app. The app then categorizes those food choices, indicating whether eating these kinds of foods a lot is going to help you achieve your goal weight. This notion is astoundingly simple. If you are motivated to lose weight, and you merely pay attention to what you're eating, you'll end up making better choices more in line with your health goals. This is truly a revolution in the diet and weight loss industry. If weight loss is a war on food, or worse, a battle against ourselves, it takes immense willpower over a sustained period to reach the goal. Even if the war is won, we are likely to slowly lose those gains over time because nobody can keep fighting forever. Noom is telling us something different. We already have everything we need for lasting change right inside us. Deep down, we know what we really want, and we know what's really good for us. On the whole, if we're given all of the information, we're going to end up making choices that are better for us. Maybe not every time, but most of the time. All we need to do is pay a little more attention. This is actually the deep message about personal change recorded in Parshat Nitzavim as well. Ki ha-mitzvah asher anuchi mitzavcha hayom lo nifleita hi mimcha velo rechoka hi. The mitzvah which I command you today is not obscured from you and it's not far away. Lo b'shamayim hi velo me'ever liyam. It's not in the heavens and it's not over the seas. Ki karov elecha ha-davar me'od b'ficha u'bilvavcha la'asoto. For the matter is indeed very close to you in your mouth and in your heart that you might do it. According to Ramban, Nachmanides, the mitzvah referred to here is the mitzvah of teshuvah, the mitzvah of personal change and growth. The Torah is telling us something incredibly powerful. Being a good person, being a good Jew, being an Eved Hashem is not an unceasing, unrelenting war against ourselves. It's actually something that's deeply intuitive, deeply ingrained into our very being. As the late Rabbi Sachs once put it, there is a deep congruence between the life we are called upon to lead revelation, and the universe we are called upon to live it in, creation. Deep down, we know what is right and good. Sometimes all we need is to pay a little more attention. <laughs> I know, I'm making it sound easy, and it's not. So much of our lives is lived on autopilot. One day flows into the next, each week into the next, until the years and the months slip, up, slip by. Where does it all go? According to Rambam, Maimonides, this is in fact the point of the shofar. Klomar uru yishenem mishenaschem. The shofar blast calls to us saying, Awake, sleepers, from your sleep. Slumberers, snap out of your slumber. Those who forget the true path because of the humdrum of daily life and whittle away their year with drivel and emptiness. Look inwards and better your ways. What an opportunity this time of year affords us. A time to slow down. A time to take stock. A time to attend. A time to attend to ourselves and how we show up in different arenas of our life. Are we living in the ways that deep down we know we should be? Maybe this year we can learn something from noon. Maybe we can keep a log, a journal, even if it's just for the Eseret Yomei Tshuva, the days between Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur. Maybe we can carve out some time to reflect on one relationship, on one interaction. Was I fully present? Was I attending to them and to myself in those moments? And our, in our religious lives as well, in Torah, in Tefillah, in Staka, am I fully present? Am I attending? As we continue to hear the shofar's reverberating blast, let its call remind us. Ki karov elecha hadavar me'od. You already have all the ingredients for personal growth and change right there within you. Maybe all that's needed is to pay a little more attention. Shabbat shalom.